sake, then no one's listening to me. Don't do this, kiddo. You've got so much more in your life to give. Just to impress Uncle Dodd. Sorry, I didn't hear ya. Uh, what kind of meat you want? Looking for the butcher, Blomquist. Yeah, he's not the butcher, more the assistant butcher. Though that's gonna change, I think, buying the place. Not that you need to. He's in the back, buzzing for ya. She thinks he's cute as well. This is horrible. <sighs> Come on, Ed. Oh, hey, I read that. Oh, yeah? Last year. It's pretty depressing. Really? See, I think it's beautiful. But then everyone always says, Noreen, you're morose. Oh, Noreen. Oh, here's Ed now. This would be so cute. Don't! What the fuck? Sorry, he's just in the middle of a hog. So what can I do you for? Did you just got some meat? Yeah, I thought so. Well done. Thank God. Better off out of it, mate. Wait, is she going off her ring? Shit. So is that going to be cash or? I wrote out a check. Maybe don't cash it till mm -hmm. the end of the week, though, huh? Payday. Oh yeah, that's no problem. <laughs> you uh, you going somewhere? Well, I guess so. You know, for the best. Yeah. Peggy's gone. Peggy, stop him. Peggy, go! gotta buy the shop the butcher shop so we could use the money what about your trip decided not to go just now moments ago well I couldn't give you any more than 700 for her. okay are you sure it's it's worth at least 14 yeah well seven today is better than 14 tomorrow Peggy <laughs> to me you're part of this family not that dad would ever tell you that but i know you're mostly his guy but i just want you to know there's a place for you at our table with or without him All you gotta do is be straight with us i'm straight oh of course it's 
It's just... We just escalated this war. On account of what you... The information you found out about Ryan. I was real upset. I have to just double check the veracity of... Oh, don't bear. Someone's got to. You need to talk to him. You talk to me first. Last time I checked, everyone here worked for one person. Ma. You actually like it, huh? Taking orders from a woman. Is that how it was in the bedroom with Cassie? <laughs> Why don't you talk about her? She strap one on, bend you over the bed, and <laughs> show you who's boss. There's gonna be a reckoning one day, brother. In the end, we all get what we deserve. You keep telling yourself that. Will cause him to withdraw his present help from us. We shall nice made a story and a throughout the world. Where'd you serve, Sam? <clears throat> Mekong Delta. Swift boat patrol. Two tours. Well, I sure appreciate your service. Every generation has their time. I remember back in 42, America just joined the war. I was working on uh, Operation Eagle's Nest for Paramount. <clears throat> Dropped behind enemy lines trying to rescue Jimmy Whitmore and Lorraine Day from this SS commando. It was a fine picture. That's not equivalent. My wife's got lymphoma, uh, stage three. And uh, lately, the state of things, uh, I wonder if maybe the sickness of this world, if it isn't inside my wife somehow, the, the cancer, do you really think we'll get out of this mess we're in? Son, there's not a challenge on God's earth that can't be overcome by an American. And I truly believe that. Yeah. But how? <laughs> oh, God. That is some trite bullshit. Oh my god. Betsy, please take your pills. They could be the actual pills. She's gonna die. Recurring alien thing. Honey, sorry. Papa's here. You feeling okay? Oh sure. Oh. Little tired. Are you are you hungry? I, I can fix you something. You're sweet. I I just now trying to decide if I'm hungry or if I want to throw up. Don't normally confuse the two. Well, not just a side effect of this drug they gave me. Which would mean they actually gave me the drug and not candy. It's candy? Eat something green and we'll talk. <laughs> so we're uh, rooting for nausea then, huh? I'm just all left thumbs when it comes to this You're stuff. You're doing great. No, I don't know Dad. about that. <laughs> Your mom were here, she'd know just what to say. Me. I can fix the toaster. <clears throat> well, maybe just... Uh, do you think maybe you could watch Mally for a bit? I just thought, yeah, I'm not sure if I can keep my eyes open right now <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> watch who? Me. Who? Me. Oh, what the heck? Thank you, dear. No, that's... J just tell him that I'm, I'm ready for school to go back. I want to go, like he said. Bless him. Got himself in a right okay, pickle then. now, haven't you, mate? Oh, fuck. No, 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 <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. 
got something. Your shop's gonna burn down. Shit! Can you tell the cops that? And the big guy, he came at me and it was self defense? Yeah. 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 Of course. But. But. Ed! Oh, she's gonna give him the money. But he's already... They're like the gifts of the Meiji. You think you're grown? Is that it? What? This prick. With your clothes and your hair and no bra. Being grown's got a price. Kid gets slapped when he's bad. When you're grown, you get the fist. Or the knife. Son. You let that girl alone. Quite. Get upstairs now, darling. Prick. Pause. How fucking fragile has your manhood got to be, though? That, like, you can't even let a woman speak. Or have a job. Or... I, I, that's the thing that gets me about these real, like, these chauvinistic guys of just, like, how pathetic are you that you can't compete with women on a f level playing field? Since when is it a sign of toughness? Do you know what I mean? I just think they're cowards. <laughs> and yes, I know his daughter is an actual little bitch, but that's not, that's besides the point. How do you think she got that way? He goes out of town for one day. Look what happened. I got a surprise for you. That's oh, okay, but we need to. No, we don't gotta go. No, listen, <laughs> I, I want to talk to you. I've been thinking a lot about what you said and and how I've been and and sit. That's it. No, this is important. What I'm trying to say is, you were right. You were right. This was our dream, you know. And 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 so now, now, we can do it. The shop burned down. What? And I killed another fella, maybe two. And Lou, Lou was right. They came. They came. The other fella that you hit, his family. They they came. So this is. That, that, that's great. You know, thank you. But we gotta go. You need to pack. Okay, okay. Look at okay. <laughs> oh god. I love him. He's so funny. Shit. Absolutely insane. Charlie completely shat the bed on his planned assassination of, of um, Ed. But in fairness, Ed is no pushover. No pushover. I was actually really impressed with him in that scene. He handled it like a man, saved the girl, um, Noreen, and, um, and Noreen wanted to save. Charlie because he wasn't dead 
I have a feeling that Noreen and Charlie are now going to like get married and have a few kids and just have a really interesting How I Met Your Mother story. It was a really interesting episode because it kind of started with like a massive explosion but then immediately dialed the heat kind of right down again. I could probably have done without the Ronald Reagan side story that I felt a little bit like Stavros in season one of just like make the thing eight episodes cut <laughs> cut the nonsense out but I also think it is important in terms of the way that this season is capturing the time the moment that these events are happening the level of kind of national low self-esteem but also exceptionalism which is really weird starting to hate dodd a lot his you know his he is such a total and complete disrespect for women it's off the charts he i mean he would get along fine in the handmaid's tale he'd be happy as larry as happy as fred so he can die i'm ready for dodd to die now i sincerely hope he is dead by the time that this season is over I kind of like Bear in a weird way I like the way that he's protective of his mum and that he wanted better for his own son he wanted him to go to school wanted him to become a professional yeah I'm kind of I'm more predisposed to Bear barely saw any of Ma Gerhardt I don't understand the timing of pinning Rye's death on Kansas City at this point I don't really see what there is to gain I mean she'd already said they were at war so I guess he's just trying to lock her in make sure that you know none of her womanly weakness happens and she starts you know backing down but still I kind of feel like that hit on Kansas City would have been sanctioned anyway so I guess really Dodd is fucking stupid Charlie didn't need to be in that situation they've lost a guy who's died got his meat cleaver through his head virtually for nothing they could have taken the butcher out in a much quieter way and perhaps would have if Dodd hadn't up the ante to such ridiculous levels for absolutely no reason whatsoever like he already had his war I would have really understood it if it had happened the episode before you know before the negotiations but I guess Dodd is just reaching for whatever he can go for now to lock everyone into like a battle to the death but I already thought that was where we were so that was that um Betsy we think she might be getting the actual pill rather than the placebo because she's got the nausea which goes with it but frankly she would be nauseous at this point anyway she seems to be like I think she actually looks better now than she did in the first couple of episodes but she seems more tired I don't want her to die I hope there was a catch and she didn't actually die at this point in time and we just didn't you know but and I can remember I don't think I was listening closely enough in season one to conversations about Molly's mum I really wish I had now might have to rewatch bits of that season then so we have that I love how there is so much of Betsy and Molly I'm really glad that we got to see season one where you see you meet Molly first you know and she's sassy and she's smart she just absolutely takes no prisoners she's incredibly straight but she's also absolutely full of love and that's totally who betsy is so regardless of how long betsy stay around to be a part of molly's life like she is absolutely living on through her completely um obviously lou was sidetracked on this silly ronald reagan mission i'm, I'm glad he's back i'm done with i'm done with reagan i don't need any more reagan now <laughs> Um, I really miss Lou actually this episode because we've been kind of so on him 
I, I actually quite missed him this episode. We also only had like a flicker of Mike Mulligan. So again, we've got the chess pieces moving around the board into place at the moment. Building up for what is no doubt going to be a thoroughly brutal final couple of episodes. So I can't wait to get there, frankly. I'm going to watch, I may watch another episode today. Um, but if not, it will be very soon. Until the next time, bye-bye.